it is about time I sat down to film this video. Also, I am well aware that my um, neck is not as dark as the rest of me yet. I put on a tan a few hours ago, did the rest of my makeup. My hands have gone perfectly dark, but my neck always takes the longest. But I just finally wanted to talk about my Invisalign um, experience on my channel. I think I'm going to put this on my second channel just because... I don't know. I feel like it's more of a second channel thing rather than the main channel because that's more about like beauty stuff. Um, but I thought it would be useful for some of you because I realised that I never actually documented um, the final results and my final thoughts on my Invisalign experience. I did kind of do an update in a, what's it called? Like drive with me mukbang thing a while ago, but I didn't actually sit down and do like the pros and cons of Invisalign, talking about like the cost, what you need to know if you're considering it. Um, so I thought that that would actually be kind of useful. First of all, I'm assuming if you're here, you'll know what it is. It's basically like clear braces um, and it straightens your teeth. So not everyone is, uh, kind of eligible for it is that the word eligible if your teeth are extremely like um out of place and wonky they probably will suggest you do traditional braces and then invisalign or maybe just traditional braces like with the wires like we call them train tracks in the uk but for a lot of people invisalign is an option it's called invisalign because it's supposed to be kind of invisible braces it's definitely not invisible. So I have asked you guys if you have any questions on my Instagram and I've also written like a little list um, of things that I just wanted to go over. So just a little bit of a backstory about me. My teeth have never been that bad and never like extremely wonky. Um, my bottom teeth were slightly out of place and I did have one on my top like a row of teeth that was like rotated so it kind of looked like a vampire teeth tooth which I thought was actually pretty cool but when I was like a teenager I was not eligible for braces on the NHS. If you're not from the UK, a lot of people can get braces for free if your teeth are bad enough. Mine weren't bad enough to get braces. I did go to an orthodontist at the time um, and they gave me a quote for braces and they were pointing out all these things that were wrong with my teeth and being like, yeah, this would be such a good option for me, for you. And I got really excited about it. And then they sent us the quote in the post and it was like four and a half thousand pounds. So um, obviously me being a teenager at the time, I could not afford that. My parents could not afford that. So I was just like, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm not gonna get braces. And I just left my teeth alone. And then it wasn't really until I started doing YouTube and kind of like watching back my videos every day I would notice that my teeth were slowly starting to get more and more wonky um, but it wasn't that was not the reason that I did it at all the reason why I wanted to do Invisalign now rather than later down the line is because my teeth were gradually getting more wonky especially on the bottom it was these bottom four that were kind of overlapping each other and my dad has actually got pretty much the exact same teeth um, as me and as he's got older his have just got more and more like overlapping so they're literally like this and I just didn't want them to get any worse and I knew that eventually I would want to get them corrected just because I don't know I just wanted to have straighter teeth and I think a lot of people do and I don't really think that's a problem with that so I thought it would be better to fix them now rather than later because later down the line once they got more wonky it would be more difficult to correct them and probably more expensive. So I just went to my regular dentist and they had actually just started offering Invisalign and they spoke to me about it and I decided that it was something I wanted to do. So I'm gonna insert a picture of my teeth before. They really weren't that bad, as you can see. Um, I know that a lot of people have teeth that are a lot more wonky, um, but yeah, these are my before teeth. These are my after teeth and I am so glad that I did it. Like, I love my smile now and yeah, I just, I'm really, really happy with my decision to go through with it. And as you can see, all my bottom ones are in line, all my top ones are in line, um, I pretty much like have teeth that I would not do anything to, like I would never get veneers or anything now, not that I ever considered that anyway, but yeah, I'm really happy with my teeth. So originally I was supposed to have 14 weeks, it did end up being quite a bit longer just because I kept being away for appointments and stuff because you're supposed to change the trays every two weeks. I know that some dentists do it differently and I know that some people, depending on your teeth, you can change them every week. Some people it might be every three weeks, some people it might be every four weeks. So I don't actually have the like ones that have the little bumps on them with me. This is my nighttime retainer, which probably is like a bit gross and yellow now. I need to replace it with a new one. But the trays just kind of look like this. They literally just slotted into your teeth. Kind of just like this, um, oh my god, I forgot how much of a list they gave me. <laughs> and then you got given these kind of trays that look very similar to this, and then every two weeks I would get a new one that was a little bit more corrected, if that makes sense. So every two weeks it would get a little bit straighter and then a little bit straighter, and then eventually your last set it will be like fully straight teeth, so your teeth can adjust to them. So first things first, they are not invisible. For every different person, you get different attachments that they put on your teeth, which I think in all of the adverts, none of the people wearing them 
them have got any of these attachments but in order for the plastic to actually like grip onto your teeth and move specific teeth they have to have these little bumps which are called attachments kind of cemented onto your teeth which obviously do get removed at the end and then the Invisalign is like molded around the bumps so that it can like pull your teeth to be straighter if that makes any sense so they are definitely not invisible I'm gonna insert some pictures here of what my teeth looked like with the bumps and then obviously with the retainer in as well as the bumps so obviously you can like take it out but then for the whole time that you have your Invisalign those, imbu those bumps are still gonna be there so even if you're having your photo taken you can see them I'm not gonna lie you can see them there was actually for me more cons than there were pros I would say the only pros to it are that I am extremely happy that I did it because it was worth it in the end and it did fully straighten my teeth and I'm very happy with the results another pro is that I got free teeth whitening with it with my particular dentist which was great they just gave me the gels um that I put in the trays like overnight and then I guess the other pro is that they aren't as visible as regular braces but you can still see them and then in terms of the cons list obviously you have the bumps on the teeth they're not invisible they gave me quite a bit of a lisp you have to wear them for 22 hours a day it says on the box here okay this one is really disgusting optimal wear 22 hours per day which if you don't stick to your teeth will move in between you taking them out which is really weird like you will notice that if you have them out for a little bit too long then you put them back in your teeth will hurt and you can feel like how they've moved in a matter of hours is crazy. So basically the only time you can take them out is when you're eating and drinking something that's not water. And every single time that you take them out to eat something, what I would do is I would carry my box around with me, I would take them out if I was at a restaurant or something or if I'm having my dinner at home, put them in the box, eat my food, as soon as I'm done, go to the toilets, brush my teeth, brush the retainer, put it back in and it was just a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest <laughs> every time I went for dinner I'd have to be like sorry excuse me let me just go and take them out put them away go back eat my food go back to the bathroom brush my teeth put them back in like it was it was a pain when you have them in you can only drink water that is pretty much it you can't drink any like squash you can't eat with them in you can't have coffee or tea because that will like stain them slash melt them like you can't have hot drinks because it can melt the plastic and stain them and if you have like squash or anything sugary it not only will it stain them it also like all the sugar like gets under your teeth and then it's just like sitting in the retainer so if you are a big coffee or tea drinker and you can't go you know a few hours without having a coffee or tea probably wouldn't recommend it um if you're a regular snacker stops you from snacking because you can only have them out like at meal times because two hours out of a 24 hour day means that you have to sleep with them obviously have them in all the time and then you get a two hour period for breakfast lunch and dinner combined and also it just became such a pain to snack because i'd be like oh i'm really hungry i want a snack but then to do that you have to take them out then brush your teeth then brush the retainer put them back in i just found it such a faff so yeah not only did it give me a bit of a lisp um it also pushed my lips out which made my lips look a bit bigger which i guess was kind of a benefit but also you could tell that there was something like in my mouth also talking about the pain as well i know that the pain is different for everyone but i found that i would get quite a bad toothache um when i was like adjusting the trays so every two week period when the trays would get like a bit more corrected it's kind of like how when people get their braces tightened it's that kind of thing i think just because obviously your teeth are moving they're gonna ache um and at some points it would feel really weird like your teeth would almost feel wobbly you can't really have any like hard food during the course of it like you can't like bite into an apple or have anything too crunchy because your teeth are actually a bit wobbly which is really weird and there were a couple of times where I did have to take painkillers because my jaw and like my teeth were just aching another thing which I had never seen anybody else talk about is gum erosion which if you're squeamish you might want to skip ahead a couple of minutes my gum as in like at the top of my teeth up here on quite a few of my teeth eroded because the like plastic would cut into my gums and irritate them and cause like ulcers also I feel like as well sometimes I, I don't know why it caused the gum erosion but basically I noticed that especially on some of my teeth at the back here my gum like receded on my teeth I think it also did it on this tooth I don't know if you can see like my gum is just 
a bit higher, which was kind of really disturbing. And yeah, my gums did get really irritated throughout the process. Another thing as well is that um, for something so expensive, I will go into like the costs in a minute, they weren't made that well. Some of my retainers were so sharp and rough on the edges. I actually took a picture on one of them where it was literally like the plastic had been cut really badly that there was like a sharp edge. And so what I recommend for that, if you have any sharp edges, take a nail file and gently file it because you do not want to put up with that because that would literally have just cut straight into my gums. Another thing I would really recommend is um, getting some kind of like mouth ulcer treatment, like numbing stuff like Bongella. There was another one that I did have, I can't remember what it was called, but I basically, my dad just went to Boots and got me like every single mouth ulcer, like gum pain relief thing he could find, which is so nice of him. And another thing I would highly, highly suggest if you do have any um, bits that are specifically digging into your gums is get some braces wax. You can get it on Amazon, any like chemist, pharmacy, whatever. Um, yeah, wax that people would put on braces. You can put on the edges of your Invisalign, which I definitely did on some of these so that they wouldn't cut into my gums as much. Oh, another thing that was really good is I got myself one of these um, Colgate fold-out toothbrushes and I would just always keep this in my handbag so that whenever I was out somewhere and wanted to eat something, I could just fold out my toothbrush. It did actually end up being longer than 14 weeks. So I ha I got them on the 27th of January, 2018. Obviously we're now in 2020, so I should have done this video a bit sooner. I think I had them taken off on the 8th of June, which I guess isn't actually that long of a time, but it's definitely longer than the 14 weeks that they initially kind of predicted. So if I go into the price, originally um, the actual cost of the Invisalign and also I think it covered the teeth whitening and also the overnight retainer for once you're done. Oh yeah, also another thing that a lot of people don't tell you is once you are finished with your course of Invisalign, they obviously take the bumps off your teeth, hallelujah, but you are then either expected to get a permanent fixed retainer, which is a wire that goes behind your top and bottom teeth, or an overnight retainer, well, actually both. <laughs> you can just opt for the overnight retainer, which you just wear at night time and not have the fixed wire behind your teeth. And that's what I did. Um, and I tried that for about six months. Every single night I would put in um, this bad boy right here. So it's just like the same retainer that you would get from your braces. Um, and you were expected to wear this forever. I think you're supposed to get them like updated every like five years or something like get like new ones so i tried these for six months but i found that during the day when i would take them out between breakfast and me going to sleep my teeth would move slightly and one of my bottom teeth would go back to being slightly wonky and obviously i didn't want that because during the day when I don't have them in, I wanted my teeth, teeth to look perfectly straight. Um, but then as soon as I took it out, they would start moving again, which was really weird. So I then, about six months later, decided to go for the fixed retainer. So I've now got a wire fitted behind my teeth, which is totally fine. Literally don't even notice it. I was kind of worried about having it because I thought, oh, what if food gets stuck in it? Like, it'd be really difficult to clean. It's not any more difficult to clean, to be honest. Uh, I don't find that food ever gets stuck in it, really. I would highly, highly recommend going for the fixed retainer because speaking from my own experience i did originally pay to get the um the fancy night retainers they did just have a basic one which was included with my cost but i decided to go for the vivera retainers you get three sets of them so this is the set that i currently am using these ones are just a bit more like cut out and a bit less bulky but to be honest they're both a retainer. These ones are supposed to be a bit stronger, but honestly, I don't really notice any different. And for the Vivera retainers, it was 500 pounds. I think for the standard ones, it was like 200 pounds or something. Obviously prices vary from dentist to dentist, but the actual Invisalign itself um, was for me, 3,300 pounds, I think, which is a lot of money so i knew that it was going to be expensive but i decided that it was investment that was worth it looking back on it now i definitely do think that for me personally it was worth it i know that for everyone they're not going to care that much about their teeth and my memory card just ran out and cut me off yeah i definitely think it was a good decision and i don't regret it and i know that for everyone they're not going to care that much about their teeth to spend that much money on it which is totally fine i can't actually speak about the cost of the fixed retainer because basically for me i paid 500 pounds for the overnight retainers which i still have to wear with um my you know fixed 
thing on. And then when I went back to my dentist and said that my teeth had been like moving and I wish that I'd gone for the fixed retainer, he actually really, really kindly, he did not have to do this at all. He actually gave me the fixed retainer for free, I believe. And he basically said that because I was one of his first cases of Invisalign, I was kind of like a, um, not like a guinea pig, but you know, he hadn't done many cases of Invisalign before. He was just like starting out with it. Obviously he'd done his training and stuff, but he said that like looking at other patients and stuff, he realizes now that he should recommend the fixed retainer more. And he said that he probably should have been a bit more kind of like pushy with me to get the fixed retainer. Um, so yeah, he decided to give me that free of charge, which was very, very nice of him. I don't actually know if if I'll be able to show you. Okay, I can't, yeah, I can't do my top one. So this is what my teeth look like now. I'm just gonna go on my Instagram and answer some questions um, to see if I've missed anything. Oh, that is another thing as well. Um, I forgot to mention, because somebody said, how long does it take for them to be fitted and made? So. I had so many dentist appointments. It's a good job that I'm self-employed and work from home and can kind of adjust my hours and stuff because it is time consuming to have to go back to the dentist every two weeks to get your new trays. And I know that not every dentist likes to do that because they might just give you the full course like in one go. But for my dentist especially, I think he's just a perfectionist and he wanted to like check in on me every two weeks to see that they were going, you know, the right sort of way and that there was no problems or anything. I felt like I'd practically lived in the dentist. Like the receptionist knew me by name, didn't even have to say my name when I walked in. Oh yeah, and also that's something I just wanted to mention. I did not have any, any part of it paid for like for me like in exchange for videos or whatever like I paid for it fully myself it was nothing to do with YouTube it was just like a personal decision do you wear them day and night yes um so how long does it take for them to be fitted and made honestly I can't remember I think it was a couple of weeks between my initial like fittings appointment and then me actually getting them has anyone commented on the difference of your teeth yes when I had them taken off everyone was like oh my god your teeth look so good like I even had a few people ask me if I had veneers and I was like nope I've just had them straightened and whitened which I think was a big thing that made a difference as well. Can you only get top and bottom teeth done or can you just get the bottoms done? So I was originally just going to get my bottom teeth done but then my dentist was like well um, I think I think how it works is if you don't get anything done to the top teeth you still have to get a retainer that just like fits them. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it was the same price to get just your top teeth done or your bottom teeth because I think the retainers still have to be made otherwise like it aligns your jaw funny or something. I can't fully remember. I'm really sorry. You'll probably have to ask your dentist about that but I think you can just get your top or your bottom done because originally I was just going to get my bottom ones done but then he convinced me to get my top ones and I'm so glad that he did because I way prefer how my teeth look now. Someone has said, how do you stick to wearing it? I find it so difficult. I'm supposed to wear it at night but never do. Oops. Um, I was just really disciplined because I was like, I'm paying three and a half thousand pounds for this. Uh, it would be pointless if I just don't stick to it because then like, what's the point? So because it was so expensive, I was like, well, I've just got to do it. If you don't wear them for the 22 hours a day, you do notice your teeth start to move. And also, it's more painful when you then get the next set because your teeth are moving a lot more. It's just better to try and wear them as much as you possibly can. Oh, somebody said, what was it like drinking alcohol with it? So, ideally, you can't. There were a couple of situations where I did, I think... I think I did have a night out when I wore them and I probably shouldn't have done that. Like ideally it's not the best for your teeth but I guess if you do it every so often it's not gonna kill you if you like have a couple of drinks with them in as long as you make sure that once you get in from your night out you then go and like fully clean them and brush your teeth. If my dentist is watching this, I'm sorry. Someone has said, some people say they go yellow. Is that true? So, if you look at the colour of these brand new overnight retainers that are in the packet and then look at the colour of these, they've definitely gone a bit yellow. They can go yellow but I found it more with the overnight ones because I've had these for like, I don't know, like a year now? Whereas with my other ones I was only having them for like two weeks at a time so I would then get a new set so it didn't really go yellow. But it's nothing really to worry about if you're getting a new tray every three weeks, you know? Somebody said, how often do you wear your retainers now? Um, so you're supposed to wear these every single night. I definitely don't wear them every single night. Um, I just try and wear them as much as I can, to be honest, and like as much as I remember to wear them. Um, but I found that if I wear them like once a week, it's fine. Like 
sometimes once every like two weeks at the moment just because I keep forgetting to put them in. Do you feel like your teeth are more sensitive now? Honestly, no, not really. Right, I think that is it actually. I'm gonna leave this here. I think I've covered everything. At the end of the day, um, it was a pain in the ass, but um, I'm really happy with the results and I don't regret doing it. I hope this was helpful if you are getting Invisalign. Please share with me your stories down below if you have anything to share and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!